This is lines 553 to 559 of Ovid's account of Daphne and Apollo. We're nearing the end of the story here. And uh, in 553, we say, this one also Phoebus loves. So Daphne's been turned into a tree at this point. Um, there's still some remnants of her, and, and, and he gets into that. But, but this too, Phoebus loves. And the Ablet of Absolute, with his right hand placed on the trunk of the trees, the, the steepus, steepus, he feels still trembling under the new wood, her chest or her heart. So he, he, he feels her heart still trembling under the new wood. And having embraced her branches as if they were arms with his own arms, with his own limbs, he gives kisses to the wood. However, the wood flees the kisses. So there's a nice, very, very deliberate synchesis here at the interlocking word order of oscula, oscula, ligno, lignum. And to it, or her, depending on how you want to view it at this point, to it or to her, the goddess, and we do get the said verb down here, but said, but since my wife, you cannot be. So since you cannot be my wife, certainly you will be my tree. And the maya here goes with arbor. It's been delayed here after the uh, the sejura, the principal pause in the line, arbor eris kerte dixit. Maya semper habebant. You, your hair, you, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, my my hair or our hair, you, our lyre, you, our quiver, laurel, will always have. So, my hair, my lyre, and then here the the royal plural are. I'm saying my now to illustrate you can use either. So my hair, my laurel, and my quiver will always have you, O laurel tree.